Hello there and welcome to this Clubhouse video. Today's template is called Seminar. Now here it is on the screen. This template includes a few different um, CSS adjustments to it. We've got a little navigation bar that comes in on scroll and also some lines and things we've put in using some CSS. So I'm going to show you them in a minute inside the live editor. And now let's walk you through this template. So you can see here straight away on the screen we've got this lovely bright yellow color which we use throughout the template. We keep this all the way down, keeping a bit of consistency in that color that we're using. So we use the template color quite well. So this combination with a nice deep blue color, which we'll show you in a second. But here it is. This is the top section you can see here. We've got this lovely image of the palm trees behind. This is for a, particularly a seminar, an event you might be running or something. And we're using that nice background showing of the area that it was in. And it's a nice capture image. It's got a slight opacity on it so you can see the font in front of it. Now straight away we're using this um, nano font here in the, in the template and you can see the font, nice big headline here and then we've got the sub headline underneath it and over on the right hand side we've got an inline email capture form so there's no um, double opt in here, it's an inline form so people can instantly just enter their name and email if they want to get access to, in this case we've put the latest event recordings and you've got this nice, just underneath here, a small little link here with a little arrow, you can see if we click on it it opens up the overlay optimizer and inside is a borderless video that we've played inside so it's just very sharp it meets flush on the edge and we've got that video inside there now obviously you could switch that out use it if you wanted to for an opt-in form or obviously putting in some more video you may want to showcase your event talk about your event that's coming up you know you could change the text here on this clip now dropping down below that we've used some proof here or not social proof we've got some proof of companies some recognized brands that may be appearing at your event now you'll notice here just as I scroll down the page that navigation bar at the top comes in you can see that the um, bar comes in and it keeps the navigation with the logo in place at the top so that's always seen as you scroll down the page so as we go in we've got these uh, featured brands here we've got these brand icons and you've got that slight opacity on the darker image behind it so it just makes that row stand out um, on top of the image behind there and then we drop down into a nice bright yellow bar we've got the button here which you hover over and it's got a white color so it's a nice call to action here if people want to book tickets straight away and it clearly shows the date here of this event and you know there's no, no distractions there on that bar and that call to action we drop down into nice white area, nice font used here, and you'll notice this tiny little yellow bar we've put in place. I'm going to show you how to edit that in a moment, and it's matching that same color, so bringing that consistency of the color down through the design. We drop down into the text area, and then further down the page, we enter social proof with our testimonials from people. These could be people who've been to previous events, you know, people who have testimonials for your products if your event is about a particular product. Then we drop down into this darker blue row here and you can see again we've used that yellow tiny line there underneath all the headings and it's on top of this blue background so it really um, stands out well but it's also a very good combination of colors there and um, they go well on the eye and they blend in. Over on the right we've got a featured box with some event details in this place where you put in some maybe some classes or particular mo modules or workshops you have on at your event and then we've got a text area on the left. Then we drop down into our speaker section, so you can see here again we've used that little yellow mark here or the little yellow line underneath the heading we drop down into the speakers and you can see we've rotated these or we've put them so that every second speaker has a grey background, this is applied with some CSS into the element and you can see as we scroll, scroll down again each speaker, it's a nice clear image on the left and then text on the right with the name of the person and maybe the comp com company they're from or the job description that they do or you know in this case we've used put in copywriters here and you, always you can switch any of this text out switch all the images out you can do what you want with these templates then we drop down to another section here we've got the headline again they've got a little yellow line and then we've got some information about the hotel we've got a picture of that text over on the right then we drop down into the area a bit more encouragement here, giving people more information about the event. Again, our headline with our white little, sorry, our yellow line underneath. Then we go down, we switch the colors here, so with a darker blue color, and then we've got the yellow button this time. As you hover over, you can see it's a white button with the font changing there on hover. So you can see it's a nice call to action right at the bottom of the page for people to maybe buy your ticket. Let's jump into the live editor and I'll just show you some little CSS changes. So let's have a look at these yellow little lines here. Um, I'll just show you this row actually. This row is the dark opacity 
on that row you can see it's got um, row CSS class there and that's where that's changed in page settings you can edit if you want to edit the opacity you know weaken or strengthen that opacity on that uh, we go down here's the little row this is just done with an HTML code element and if I open it up you can see here inside is a simple bit of CSS code it just basically adds in that line and the color now the color is here this is the hex color code you can obviously change that as well there's the height of the line and there's the width so if you wanted to you could set it to four you know four seven five click insert and you can see the line is then increased just increase the width we go back just put it back to 75 keeps it nice and small so that's just a simple CSS but put into the HTML code element so you can just edit edit the um, CSS or the code directly in that element and if we scroll on down again you can see this one is a featured box again this featured box if we click on the cogwheel it's got an element class called shadowed one that gives it a shadowed border effect and again we've got that line there and you can see again on this one where these testimonials are I've got the gray background I click on the cogwheel you can see we've got the inverse class there which is the giving it that gray border effect and all the CSS is in page settings other scripts custom CSS and you can expand this and inside there you will have all of your CSS code if you want to get dirty with a bit of CSS and learn it there's everything in there you could do a search for inverse and you'll find there you go there's the inverse and there's the color um, uh, the background possibly is that one. Now this is the background color here. This is the border. Sorry. So background here, you can see image text style padding background. So that's the color. If you wanted to change the color, but that's the CSS. So there is a beautiful template. Really like this one. It's got a lovely design style to it. I love the little lines that are put underneath the headings. And it's using a lovely font as well throughout this template. So if you use it in your business, please do drop us an email. We'd love to see it in action. And we'll see you in the next Clubhouse video.